Hey, what's good, YouTube? Urban Legend Plays here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, we will be discussing my top 10 favorite Pokemon. Pokemon has been my favorite video game since I was a child. I remember my first Pokemon game being Pokemon Diamond back in 2006 or 2007. You know, I was young, I can't really remember. Anyway, I loved that game. My starter Pokemon for that game was Chimchar, and with my team and my 8-year-old mind, I somehow beat the Elite Four. Don't ask me how. Because of Pokemon, I was able to make friends and learn more about the game and how to battle. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Please note, there will be an announcement video coming out later this week. Well, you know, it's not really an announcement per se, rather, it's a channel update video for you guys that I will be posting later this week. But, you know, I'm announcing it now. And with that, let's begin our Pokemon Top 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Sylveon. Sylveon, the intertwining Pokemon in an evolved form of Eevee. Sylveon affectionately wraps its ribbon-like feelers around its trainer's arms as they walk together. This Pokemon is my favorite fairy type. It has powerful moves, and I mean, look at it. You just want to hug it. And it's a freaking Eevee evolution. You know, Eevee evolutions are awesome. I mean, Flareon is my favorite because I'm a fire type user myself. But Flareon's not going to be included in this top 10 because that will be for another day. Anyway, with moves like Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Swift, Hyper Voice, and the ability Pixelate at its disposal, Sylveon is quite the fairy powerhouse. If you're ever playing Gen 6, I highly recommend that you put this Pokemon on your team. Trust me, you're going to need it. Coming in at number 9, we have Floatzel, the Sea Weasel Pokemon, and the evolved form of Weasel. Its flotation tech developed as an aid in chasing aquatic prey. Floatzel can also carry people on its back. So for people who know me, my friends, co-workers, well, I mean not my co-workers... Floatzel and I share a lot of memories, and it's my, it was my first water-type Pokemon back in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And I remember getting it at Valley Windworks, and I absolutely loved Weasel. And then when it evolved into Floatzel, I was like, oh my god, this thing just became a thousand times better. Now, as a child, I gave my Floatzel all those HM water moves, like Surf, Waterfall... And then I gave it Focus Blast and Ice Beam. I don't even know how I beat the Pokemon League. Ugh, memories. This Pokemon is an aquatic powerhouse that has Swift Swim at its disposal, making it a threat. Coming in at number 8, we have Gengar. Gengar, the Shadow Pokemon. Gengar is the final evolved form of Ghastly. It can absorb any heat surrounding it, leaving it a sudden chill. This Pokemon is my all-time favorite ghost type. It's speedy, and it has great special attack. And it has a Gigantamax form, and it has a Mega Evolution. And plus, it's shiny is sick when it Mega Evolves. Gengar is my friend Gamer Pride's favorite Pokemon. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Gengar has the moves Shadow Ball, Sludge, Dazzling Gleam, Hypnosis... Dream Eater, and Psychic at its disposal. Plus, with the ability Levitate, ground-type attacks can't hit it. And this Pokemon is becoming the mascot of Pokemon. I mean, it's in everything now. Gengar is quite a serious threat. Luxray is number 7. Luxray, the Gleam Eyes Pokemon, in the evolved form of Luxio. Using the power to see through walls, Luxray can track down hidden opponents and even locate lost children. This Pokemon and I have lots of memories all the way back from Pokemon Diamond. I remember catching this Pokemon for the first time as a Shinx, and I absolutely loved it. Like, it was staying on my team permanently. I also remember the first time I was playing my game, and I was sitting on my aunt's couch, and then all of a sudden, my Luxio finally evolved into Luxray, and I was stunned, and I shouted, YES! It's an electric lion. How cool is that? Not only does this Pokemon look badass, it is quite the electric powerhouse, with moves such as Wild Charge, Discharge, Fire Fang, and Ice Fang at its disposal. This Pokemon is not to be messed with. 
Coming in at number six, we have Go-Goat. Go-Goat, the mount Pokemon, in the evolved form of Skidoo. Go-Goat is able to sense its trainer's feelings by detecting small changes in the grips of its horns. This allows both trainer and Pokemon to move together as one. My first memory of Go-Goat was in the Pokemon Black and White anime. I saw this Pokemon and was like, I need this Pokemon. In the Kalos region, Go-Goat's literally your public transportation. It beats the bus. Plus, people can't sit on Go-Goat for too long because eventually it's going to get tired. With Go-Go being a grass type, it has moves such as Leaf Blade and Seed Bomb at its disposal. This Pokemon may not be fast, but it hits like a truck. And also, if you have the ability Sap Sipper on it, it can't get hit by a grass type move. And just, yeah. Coming in at number 5, we have Slacking. Slacking, the lazy Pokemon in the evolved form of Figaroth. Slacking lies down most of the time. It gets up and moves only when there is no more grass close by to eat. There's really nothing to say about Slacking other than it's a sloth. And although it's lazy, it hits like a truck and it kind of reminds me of myself. Even my friends say I'm a Slacking. Noivern is number four. Noivern, the sound wave Pokemon in the evolved form of Noibat. The ultrasonic waves Noivern releases from its ears are powerful enough to crush a boulder. Again, the black and white anime helped me decide that I needed Noivern on my team when I first played through Kalos. Or Pokemon X and Y for people who don't know who, what the Kalos region is. Noivern is an amazing special attacker and it's speedy, just like Gengar. With Noivern being a dragon and flying type, it has moves such as Draco Meteor... Hurricane, and Dragon Claw at its disposal. Imagine riding on this Pokemon on your way to school. I guarantee you that you'd be the most popular kid in school. Or at least in your friend group. <laughs> We're on to our top three. My number three pick for my favorite Pokemon is Dialga. Dialga, the temporal Pokemon. It has the power to control time. I mean, that's all it said in the Pokédex entry when I looked it up on Google, because I am not that smart when it comes to Pokédex entries yet. Oh yeah, and it also appears in the Sinnoh region as myths, as an ancient deity. Dialga was my very first legendary Pokémon back in Diamond. My original Dialga was the best, and it helped me so much with battling the Pokemon League. I was sad to say that I lost my Dialga. My friend and I, at the time, made a bet. And it was basically, you know, if you want to keep playing Dragon Ball Z, um, you know, let's battle. And then if you lose that, I get your Dialga. And needless to say, I lost... And he ended up trading his Slowpoke for my Dialga. And I was very saddened by that. Luckily, I had Heatran in the rear, ready and waiting. So, that wasn't a problem. The problem was, I missed my Dialga, and I'll never see it again. Anyway, with Dialga being a Steel-type and Dragon-type, it has Flash Cannon, Roar of Time, and Draco Meteor at its disposal. Disposal. <laughs> Uh, Dialga is basically the TARDIS from Doctor Who. I mean, if it was combined with Palkia, it would literally be the TARDIS, because TARDIS stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. Only Doctor Who fans will know this, and I know my friends aren't really Doctor Who fans, so that makes me the Doctor Who aficionado in the group. Anyway, make sure you have Dialga on your legendary team. It's awesome. Alright, we're in home stretch now. My second pick is Lycanroc Dusk Form. Lycanroc, the wolf Pokemon, in the evolved form of Rockruff. This form of Lycanroc is normally calm and quiet. Once a battle begins, however, this Pokemon displays a ferocious fighting spirit. Now, I don't know if you guys like this Pokemon, but I love this form of Lycanroc. It hits like a truck, and it's incredibly fast. 
It looks badass and is a fusion of both midday and midnight form of Lycanroc. It's the best of both worlds. With Lycanroc being a rock type, you have moves such as Excel Rock, Drill Run, Fire Fang, and Stone Edge at your disposal. And honestly, I'd love to have this Pokemon as a pet because it would make a badass guard dog. And no one would mess with you with that thing on your lawn. Here it is. The moment you've all been waiting for. My number one favorite Pokemon is Infernape. Infernape, the flame Pokemon in the evolved form of Monferno. Infernape's fiery crown reflects its fiery nature and its speed is unmatched. Infernape is the best Pokemon, in my opinion. Infernape and I have very fond memories in Pokemon Diamond. I remember driving to my aunt's house and my Chimchar evolved into Monferno Christmas Day of 2007. This Pokemon was my best friend because, like a lot of YouTubers, I had a lonely childhood. Infernape has been with me for almost two decades. I know, that's crazy. That's like a Gen 1-er saying they've had Charizard since Pokemon Blue. Infernape being a fire type and a fighting type, it has awesome moves in its arsenal, including Blast Burn, Flare Blitz, Power Up Punch, Earthquake, Flamethrower, Blaze Kick, and Mock Punch. Infernape is my absolute favorite Pokemon and always will be. I mean, Ash had an Infernape and it kicked ass. This Pokemon is so amazing. And there you have it, folks. That is my top 10 favorite Pokemon list. If you like this top 10 list, let me know in the comments section below, and I will record more. You know, I have a lot of ideas for new Pokemon content I want to create, new gaming content. Well, I guess I'm going to save that for the update video. But yeah, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.